put that price on my head. No, no, no. They want me dead or alive. They want me dead or alive. I'm just trying to survive. You niggas fall up behind. You never. Yo, so today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you my post score build. Um, I literally was looking at a lot of videos just recently, and my friend, uh, actually, Turbid Thread, um, aka Jordan GH, he actually gave me this idea to make a post score, so shout out to him. He was, like, the first person to actually, like, get me, like, interested, because no one had it, like, in my little group of friends on Xbox, and I was like, man, I'm about to make one, but the thing is that I'm pretty sure he made his a center, and I want to make mine a small forward, so the reason why is because I want to be fast, and I I can be big as a small forward as well, but I can also be fast as a small forward. So obviously you want to start out as a small forward, and then you want to pick out post score as your archetype. Man, this looks so nice. I just can't wait, like brick wall especially for it. I'm probably not going to work on the badges right now, probably after I finish my, finish up my sharpshooter badges, and after I finish up my lockdown defender badge, all I need to do is get uh, pick dodger hall of fame, and then I'll make a video on that, then I'll start on these, and then basically I'll be done with basically every single badge in the game ex except for difficult shots, mid range Jedi, and tireless score I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've done every single other thing in this game, yeah basically. Um, except for Rim Protector, I need to do that as well. So, I decided to go with the 610. Man, this is, this is a risky, risky, risky thing I did. It's a lot, there's a lot of things that you could do. I just did not want to make mine 6 foot 3 and get stripped all the time. Like, yeah, like, my ball control will be high, but I can get blocked easily. Now, I'm gonna say one little con about this is that if you're playing against a lockdown defender small forward, you're not gonna do anything against him. He's just gonna negate all your badges, he's gonna do everything to you that sucks. So Lockdown Defender is really the only thing, the only person that can actually do something to you. Wingspan is 90.8 inches. Um, the only reason why is because I'm pretty sure even though you're shooting off dribble for like a fadeaway, you're not going to be fading away a lot of times. You're going to be really using your badges. You're not going to be, there's no fadeaway badges, so there's no guarantee you're going to make them all the time. So if you use drop stepper, you're going to get by him. You're not going to be using off dribble shots, and you're not going to be using tested shots. You want your strength high, so you wouldn't want to do it all the way down so that way you get blocked all the time, but you want it pretty good. So, the one video I watched, it said that I should have my weight 15 pounds above, and it won't get, and it won't like hurt the, uh, it won't hurt like anything going down by a lot. So I'm just gonna make it 265 pounds so that way I get a little bit more strength, a little bit more it's contact dunk, and yeah, you're losing a lot of speed, but it's okay. You're not gonna, you're, you're gonna be playing good defense with a small forward, six foot ten, for your body, because you're gonna have bruise. You're gonna be pushing people around, and obviously you want to max out your shoulder width. Handedness, you want to go left hand because you want to be left hand like Ginobili. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so number can be anything. I'm just going to choose zero, zero, and I'll show you guys what upgrades you guys can do. So, what I'm going to start out with the shooting off dribble. You really don't need this, um, mainly if you really are trying to play pro am. And I would not suggest playing pro am with this build, by the way, because this guy is really meant for the park, he's not meant to be. You're gonna get clobbered in pro am. You're gonna there's gonna be three people trying to triple team you every single time. It's gonna be annoying and you're gonna get annoyed. So don't try it with him. Um, definitely, definitely, you want your standing layups or your layups and dunks, my ball, to be maxed out because you get an 88 standing layup, which is the only thing that you're gonna be doing most of the time. And your driving layup is pretty decent as well. You can get contact dunks. You can get everything on this guy. And keep in mind, you can also get every single contact dunk in this game. So. Oh, you always have to have those things in mind. You definitely want to max that out. Um, Mid-range shooting, eh, you can if you really want to. You're only going to get a 77. It's not that good in my opinion, but you're going to get something at least. Um, Three-point shooting, don't even worry about that. It, that's if that's at the last minute. That's at the that's the last thing you want to upgrade in, in my opinion on this list. That's the last thing you want to upgrade. Now your mid-range shooting, you can upgrade that basically. Um, upgrade it, I'd say, to about maybe a, around a 60, so you can upgrade it to like that, that'd be 57 right there, or you can upgrade that, which is like 61, which you can do that, uh, it doesn't cost that much, you don't need to upgrade it any farther, because above a 60, honestly, is not gonna get you anywhere, like, you're, you'll still be okay, you'll still be able to shoot pretty good, so like I said, 
don't even worry about the three point shooting until the last. Her scoring, uh, I'd say upgrade that not all the way because you're not gonna be fading away every single time. You're not gonna be doing a hook shot. All you're gonna be doing is holding the ball in the post and doing a spin move. And what you can keep on doing is just switching hands every single time. I saw Music Mindframe do this. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. He would just keep on switching hands, basically while he was in the post, and then he would do a drop step, and he would get him every single time. So, I would say upgrade it to about right here. This will get you to a 75, which is basically all you need for post scoring. You don't need a lot of it, because you're not going to be fading away, or you're not going to be hooking it most of the time. Now, your agility... I, I don't know if I would max that out all the way. I'd say get it to at least like a like a 57. So you'll be good about that. Strength, in my opinion, definitely, definitely max this out. This will get you to a 94 strength, and this will definitely get you all that you need for to push to push people out of the way, basically. And you can rebound over a over a glass because you're gonna be boxing them out really hard. Now, rebounding, I'd say get that to around a 50 to start out with, and then the rest you can just do basically later. But just get it to a 50 at least. Playmaking, probably get about a 55 ball control, and you should be good, especially in the post, because you're going to get stripped a lot. You might want to honestly max that out if you do have enough spaces. There's, it's, it's, You're going to get a 60 ball control, which is basically the best you're going to get, and you need that for the post. So now for defending, in my opinion, I go about halfway to make everything like this. That way your lateral quickness is about a 47, and that's not really that good, but that's a good way to start out with. And if you have more upgrades, I'd say upgrade it to about all the way. Um, but that's only if you have more upgrades, that's only if you have five extra upgrades, and that's okay, that's, it's not a problem if you don't, but I'm just saying, I'm just giving you kind of ideas on what to upgrade and what not to upgrade, and I will be definitely testing this out, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna make this my full post scorer build, this is just my best right now I have, and if I have a better one, I'll make another one, so yeah guys, that's basically been the video for today, I'm sorry my videos haven't been really great lately, I just, I'm kind of sick a little bit, um, and yeah, so, I hope you you guys enjoyed the video and if you did leave a thumbs up and as always subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next video peace out